Hello YouTubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today looking at another beer that was sent to me from Kiosk, a Danish web shop that uh, has a very good selection of <coughs> beers from all over the globe. Right now a lot of American stuff and new Swedish stuff and a physical store you can check out in Copenhagen. Uh, link for their web shop is down below. Uh, so check them out guys. A uh, great little place. So. You might have already noticed this in the start of the video. My eyes, especially this one, looks a bit fucked up. But that's what happen, What happens when you handle caustic soda and acid all day and uh, forget to make sure to have completely clean, clean hands when you come home and rub your eyes. <laughs> Not a smart move. But nothing happened. Got it washed out. It's just a bit rare, red and weird looking. But today, guys, we're looking at another still water beer. And this is the Stillwater Artisanal. G13 Wild IPA aged in cedar wood. And it's 6.5%, and that is all the info I could find, except the fact that it says it's brewed uh, at Crazy Mountain Brewing Company in Denver, Colorado. But there's no info on hops or anything. So that's how it is sometimes with some of these uh, American beers. But at least it's got an ABV and a date. And using my brand new awesome Ale Farm Brewing Company the snifter thing, kind of like the, what they do at like Other Half and some of those New England breweries. I really like this little glass, it's a nice little snifter. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the G13 by Stillwater looks nice in the glass, a nice kind of slightly, uh, not even hazy, there's some yeast gunks in the bottom, but a nice very effervescent golden orange, a golden yellow color, slightly orange hue to it. Nice white head, I can smell the cedar already, so let's check out the aroma on G13. Oh yeah, cedar and bread and amices. This smells like a farmhouse ale, very much so. I don't know the age of it, but the cedar gives off a very like peppery and unique wood flavor. It's very unique. It's, it's like it's peppery, it's woodsy, and it just smells like cedar. You can't really describe it otherwise, or like other ways than that. Except if, if you've like if you've smelled cedar, you know okay that's the smell of cedar, and that's in there. I, the, I think the last cedar beer I had was El Cedro by Jester King. That's, there's underneath there's some tropical hops, a bit of like uh, like sweeter citrus and, and passion fruit pineapple thing, but definitely also like the bread, the wild like the, the wild part of the IPA really stands stands out. It's that classic kind of think Orval type bread character, kind of a little bit of a doughy breadiness too as well. It smells really nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys, and thanks a ton to Kiosk for the beer. Very effervescent. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I love that cedar flavor. It is not overdone at all, because cedar can be a bit intense sometimes. Very dry, because the bread, the bread really dries it out. Mouthfeel. Medium, slightly, kind of watery feeling because it's so effervescent. It kind of thins out the beer a bit, but that's to expect it because of the Brendamyces. Cedar is definitely there, that kind of peppery, cedar, woody flavor, very unique wood flavor. Pairs very, very well with the Brendamyces, actually. It's really nice, though. I really like the bread character on it. Again, think something like Orval. Nice kind of fruity Brendamyces, not so funky. It's got that dry, but classic Brendamyces character. Kind of dry, almost dusty. It's got a bit of farmhousey, um, kind of farmyardy flavor with a bit of that kind of wet hay and some sweet malt. The doughy bread in this too. Mm. Me like it like. This is a pretty nice wild IPA. It's not something I'm like going crazy over, uh, but for what it is, it's really nice. I, again, I haven't had one of these in ages, and I remember they were really in. Like everyone brewed wild IPAs at one point, but that seems to not be the case anymore. Now it's, I guess, juice bombs. But this is tasty. This is tasty. Oh. Could use a bit more hop quality on it, but maybe again, it's because of shipping, you know, coming all the way to Denmark and whatnot. Uh, maybe a bit more mouthfeel. But the carbonation suits it, I think, especially because it's a bread beer. So I'm like uh, 93. It's, it's a very well made bread IPA. I really enjoy it. Very nice still water beer. I had another one in the series. Can't remember the name of it though right now at their tap takeover a few weeks back at Co in Copenhagen, which was really good too. So 
Guys, if you get the chance, definitely check out the Stillwater G13 Wild IPA Aged on Cedarwood. Sorry, and if you can't get it locally, you can of course get it on Kiosk. <laughs> the Kiosk website or in their store. So check them out, guys, if you're in Copenhagen or if you want to check them out online and want to get this bad boy. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this bad boy if you've had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give us a thumbs up. And I want to say cheers and some delicious wild IPA, Asian Cedar, and see you guys in another beer review.